Welcome to your first day as a trainee driver here on the Ration Railway Benina Line. First opened in 1902, Tirano has two stations connecting the town to southern Italy and the far-reaching Engadin region of eastern Switzerland. The station is the southern terminus of the narrow-gauge Ration Railway Line, taking passengers through the Bernina Pass and reaching heights of 2,253 meters above sea level. There is a missing route map over there. Fix that while you are here. Head of driver and passenger experience, Stefan Buri, would like to speak to you. Follow the markers to board the train before departure. Take a seat anywhere you like. The Bernina Railway was originally opened in 1908 in small sections and wasn't completed until 1910. The aim was to gain better access to the hydroelectric plants within the Bernina Pass and increase tourism. Originally operated by BB, the cost of construction up to 1915 amounted to around 15 million Swiss francs. This put BB into financial turmoil and was eventually taken over by the Ration Railway in 1943. The Bernina Express is a four-hour, 144-kilometer journey between icy Switzerland and sunny Italy, through 55 tunnels and 196 bridges with alpine gradients as steep as 1 and 7. On the 7th of July 2008, the Bernina and Albula Railway, which forms part of the Ration Railway, was recorded in the list of UNESCO World Heritage Sites under the name Ration Railway in the Albula Bernina landscapes, thanks to its outstanding technical, architectural and environmental developments. Along the journey, passengers can enjoy the expansive views from the viewing platform at Alp Grüm, visit the Morteratsch, largest glacier by area in the Bernina range, and experience the famous Brusio Spiral Viaduct. This train is an ABE 812 dual voltage electric multiple unit in RHB livery. They were first introduced in 2009 and were built to operate the steep inclines of the Bernina range. Take on the steep terrain of the cold Swiss Alps as you navigate the unpredictable landscape and tight bands in RHB style. Take in all that the Bernina line has to offer. Welcome to this training module on the RHB ABE 812 Allegra electric multiple unit in RHB livery. During this introduction you will learn the cold start procedure and basic operation for this vehicle. Before we begin with the vehicle, we must first adjust the manual junction. Set the manual junction to the right position to proceed.
Now that the junction is set correctly, open the cab door and climb aboard to get started. The first step when setting up this vehicle is to unlock and activate the cab desk. Do this by turning the master key now. Now we need to power on the train's batteries. Press and hold the battery button until its light comes on. Set the headlights to the full position, as this will let others around you know that this train is operational. The Allegra is a dual voltage train, capable of using either AC or DC power collected from the overhead lines. Since we are on the Bernina line, we shall be using the DC pantographs located at the front and rear of the train to provide the vehicle with enough power to output up to 240 kilonewtons of tractive effort. For normal DC operation, we should raise both the front. Setting the cruise control to the correct position is crucial for ensuring a safe journey. The cruise control will apply the electric brakes for the entire Allegra unit. Any additional braking required must be provided by use of the train brake. Before releasing the brakes, apply a small amount of throttle. You will need to use this technique when performing a hill start to prevent the train from rolling backwards as you release the brakes. The power that the cruise control can apply is limited by the throttle position. 
For the steep inclines of this route, a higher setting will be required. The dynamic brake will apply the regenerative braking to every powered axle on the Allegra. This brake is ineffective at very low speeds, and so the train brake should be used to come to a complete stop. The train brake will apply the Allegra's air brakes along with any coupled air or vacuum braked vehicles. This concludes this training module. For any additional instruction, a manual can be obtained that explains the full functionality and features of this multiple unit.